Yes, today I'm sign writing. What hour are we? It's uh, Friday the 10th of February, uh, 2023. And this week there has been a terrible earthquake in Turkey on the border of Syria. And uh, thousands of people have lost their lives. They've lost their homes. People are injured. I mean, I think 20,000 people have died alone. So fortunately, there's a huge international uh, concern and help coming in from all over the place. And I think we might be able to do a little bit here. So I'm going to make a sign in the minute for some busking that we're going to do tomorrow. I just thought you might not know what busking is. It's basically entertaining on the street and this will be music. We'll be playing some uh, pop songs and whatever on the street in and eating and collecting money. Uh, in and eating uh, for the DEC, the Disasters Emergency Committee. And we'll collect some money for them. Um, did this once before, well, a couple of times before actually. Um, uh, one was uh, one for Nepal. We, we actually collected £800. So the thing is, I think while it's in people's minds, and think, yes, I'd like to give, how do I do it? If you're there, here, put the money in here, then they'll, they'll do it. So with a bit of luck, we'll hit the time right. Um, yeah, so what I've got to do now is uh, to make a sign. Oh, by the way, yeah, the cafe that we play our music in sometimes, we played there yesterday. Um, the owner, Ibrahim, is Turkish, and he was in Turkey, and I thought, well, Turkey's a big place, surely not. But no, that's where he's from and his family have suffered and some of his relatives have died in the collapsed buildings. And it's a terrible thing because an earthquake is just, it just comes without any notice. Um, I mean, if it was wartime, which is terrible, um, at least you could evacuate and go somewhere else before it happened, you hope. But this is just out of the blue. You go to bed one night and suddenly the next thing you know, you're buried under tons of rubble. Uh, oh, some terrible stories have come out so I'm very keen to see if we can do what we can and I've got um, seven or eight of my friends, musical friends coming along to help tomorrow so we'll see what we can do but one thing I've got to do is advertise quite simply as people walk by what it is and that requires a sign made a start painted a board black got to start there so what are we going to sound here uh, people walking by they're going to need to say it says um, busking for Turkey Syria earthquake appeal for the DEC yeah it's all official um, yeah so uh, a bit of red tape to get through but we're virtually there we're going to do it anyway they're not waiting apparently there's one thing I've got to wait for uh, I've got to apply uh, for 28 days ahead of time to get permission so to speak to do the busking yeah well that ain't gonna happen first things first as well you know I have to uh, put on my magic apron from which I gain all my powers that's it oh yeah, I'll tie it at the front that's nice <sighs> yeah um, painted the board with um, black waterproof water based now waterproof uh, smooth masonry paint by the way so that's ready to go um, here's my box of tricks and um, there you go all the pens and so on and um, first thing to do is just to mark out exactly what I'm going to put on and where I'm going to put it and take it from there I think the word Turkey and Syria um, two different yeah, I've, I've just got a feeling I'm going to do them with a brush and make it sort of a uh, somewhat Arabic, Middle Eastern sort of feel to one. But one in one colour, I've got a feeling I might do Turkey in white and Syria in red. Just what comes to mind. Well, I generally work with the board upright, but uh, it's difficult to film. So the first thing I'm going to do is in fact put where the border will go using um, pencil crane. I don't know what they call it in other parts of the world, and I know this is an international 
medium, but uh, it's a pencil crane, as far as I'm concerned. Right, I always like to put that because a border is a nice thing to have. Right, I have to think what the big words are. So I think Turkey, Syria, and earthquake. So I'm going to put Turkey along here, and um, I can cut into that. So. Like I say, the brush will do most of the work. Maybe a line across. And then, since that's quite loose, I'm going to put earthquake along here. A little bit more uh, formal but chop it up a bit somehow as well. And the way I'm going to do that is uh, I'll put the letters, I'm going to put them on because I often run out, it's a big word and I don't want to run out of space. So I'm going to just move them around slightly as if they've been in an earthquake. So they'll fit in there, that's okay. It's always better to um, keep them close here so you can spread out a little bit. If you squash them up towards the end, difficult. Right, and I'll put a jagged line going through it as well. So, Syria, Turkey, Syria, earthquake, appeal. And I'll put this here. For D, B, C. Now, it leaves me some space up there to put busking for. And that those two will sort of match up. That's it. Let's get on with it. The inks I'm using are coming from this Posca pen, um, and they are acrylic inks. Um, and when they're dry, they're waterproof. And I want to get the ink from in there onto the brush. So the best way of doing that is to pump the ink out of here onto another surface and then pick it up with a brush. And this is how we do that. Make sure this is well mixed. Pop it on here will do me. There it goes. And then we're ready to go with the word turkey. Right, I've got my brush loaded in the sink over here as well. Turkey across here. I want to make it, like I say, fairly loose and a little bit Arabic looking, I suppose. So if I do this sort of thing. I want the brush to do the work, so. Like that. See how you run out of space, it gets bigger. Everybody can read that. Right, then the word Syria. While I've got white going, I'll do the word earthquake, because I know what I want to do here. <coughs> I'll tidy these up a little bit with a white pen later. A small white pen. But let's just do earthquake. Let's do this very uh, more formal in shape, at least. So I'm going to put you know, straight lines like that. But do them got a hole in my brush look. So each letter I'm trying to do in a different angle, so let's do this one. H over here. Right, quake to get in now. I'm overlapping them in places, that doesn't matter too much because they're a little bit higgledy-piggledy, aren't they? So let's put this A 
slot down there to the swing. Plenty of room to put the last E in. And it's all done with this brush. I think it's almost about half an inch wide. 10, 12 mil across and uh, narrow one way, wide the other. Lovely. Does the work for you. Right, let's put Syria in red. This time, whenever you shake these, by the way, make sure the top's on, otherwise the ink will go everywhere. There's just enough ink left in this one. Again, it's a Posca pen, a red one. And uh, yeah, just uh, you take it out and pump pump it so that the ink comes through. I'll use the pen as it is. It's quite a nice nib on it, I noticed. So let me just get a bit of uh, paper. Oh, we're gonna do this bit out. So I'll just get a bit of paper and just make sure it's not too wet. Right, Syria. I'm dripping already. Actually, the drips look quite interesting. Now you want them, they won't come. Yeah, quite like that. Right, I've decided to change this. This isn't quite dry yet, but it'll take a while so I can get on with this piece at the bottom. Rather than appeal for, I'm going to put money going to the DEC because we're asking for money. Um, tell you about that in a minute. Uh, money. I'm sorry about any focusing errors. I'll have the cameraman dismissed as soon as we've finished. All right, DEC. I'll put that in red actually, I think. which is the Disasters and Emergency Committee. Right, busking along the top. Busking for. And once this is dry, I'm gonna put some white around this and some red around that. But I do need it to be dry, so let's um, get that sorted. In the end, I decided not to. Actually, I can do some work on this word earthquake. I'm just going to tighten up the ends of these, get them nice and square. There. The tops are okay, so these bottoms didn't quite come sharp. Some smudges here, which I don't really want. Right, I'm going to put um, a jaggedy line through earthquake. So, does that work? I think so. I just realised reading the whole message, it says busking for Turkey in Syria earthquake. When you go, sounds like I'm supporting it. I know it's the appeal. Earthquake appeal. So I'm going to put the word appeal here. Now there's hardly any space there to do it, but there's a trick, and that is to just squeeze it in. So my favourite. This is right. I'm just. I don't even know this is properly dry, but I just want to. Put a highlight on these letters. It's 
be honest, I think that's enough. And the last thing to do is then just to put a border around it. Let me put the border in and see if there's anything else to do. Because it's always a matter of um, judging it as you go along, really. You'll notice how much better it looks once <laughs> the border is in. Which is why I like to mark it up first, see where it's going to go. But to cut into the border is good fun. Busking word a bit much there, so let me get the black pen and just knock some of that off. Tidy that up. Okay, just tidy that bit. And again down there. I'm going to put my hand in. Have a look. There we are, that's that done. Um, the DEC, by the way, the Defenses Emergency Committee, have said on their website quite clearly that it is money that they want. Um, it's interesting that people, you know, donate clothes, sleeping bags, which are needed, it's true. But um, the message is this, that it's a, a bit of a, a job to transport those over to Turkey, by whatever means. Easy to send money and let them buy those things in Turkey. Turkey is a big country, it's got the stuff there, but it just needs financing. So the, the DEC have said, this is the disaster in the emergency committee, so you give them money and then they will spend it to help their local economy as well and do it immediately, which I think is a, a very good uh, idea. I, I follow that. So we'll see how much we can collect uh, for this. Um, yeah, if by the way, wherever you are in the world, um, you can give the DEC. The thing about the whole uh, issue, I, which I'm, I'm warmed by, is the fact that all of the countries in the area and all over the world have stepped up and said, look, this is a big disaster. These are just people who are suffering because of a natural consequence. Let's help them. So countries all over the world are stepping up to the plate and helping out here, which I think is fantastic. It's nothing to do with politics. It's everything to do with humanity. The earth is but one country and mankind, its citizens. Let's do what we can to help, okay? You'll see me next time. Bye-bye.